Welcome. This is the energy vibration lesson for the month of November 2016 for all the Aquarian sun moves and rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for the support. Please thumbs up and like these videos and share these videos. Um, this is a wonderful month for you Aquarians because it is the month of the hair element and this is wonderful. Um, we're beginning the month with the zodiac energies of the um, water, which you guys do not really like and hair and water doesn't go well. But it's the time of cleansing. It's um, the last month, uh, the one of the months before the end of the year so. The energy is, uh, is here and the month is the month of justice. I love when the month of justice comes up with the wheel of fortune. So that means that in the month of November, there is going to be karmatic justice that you have brought through from lifetimes to lifetime. But there's also going to be earthly justice. So if a lot of people have stuff with lawsuit um, and conflicts with other people, misunderstanding and so it's going to come to um, a closure at start to ending um, in this month of November. For you Aquarians, this is wonderful. If the first week is um, your best week in this month for you um, Aquarians, because you people are here sign. And why is that? Is because the energy of the star is out. You tr um, carry the vibration of the star. The month as the energy vibration of the hair element. As I've said before, the cosmic energy in the month of November is going to be the energies of the Palladians. So um, don't forget, call upon the Palladians and ask them to open your heart chakra to heal, um, to love and heal from the Palladians, okay? As we look at the number energy for this month is the number energy of balance for you guys. So you Aquarians need to start balancing. In the first week, what we have here, we have the energy of the star comes out. The energy of the star comes out. But right here, what I'm seeing is that you also have uh, the six of wands. And whenever the six of wands comes up, it is a sense of victory and success. So this is wonderful for you Aquarians in the first week because the six of wands is bringing in victory and success. Good news is coming in. And what this good news is coming in about, it is coming in about your health, if you're having a health situation. And for the rest, if you're having financial instability, good news is going to come in about that. This is wonderful because the star energies is the energies of you Aquarians. This is beautiful. As we look at the second week, we have the energy of the hermit. And the hermit is here. And I love when the hermit comes in because whenever he comes in, he wants you to go and look within. And he brings um, the energy of what you should work on. It is the five of cups being reversed. Now, the five of cup energy being reversed is always that uh, you are um, thinking and you have it. Uh, you're going back and, and looking at the things that you have lost in your life. And um, he's here helping you to kind of work out that situation. For the men out there, you'll be looking back at the relationship that you really, really thought, oh my God, that was a good relationship and now it's gone and um, I need to let it go, okay? The same goes for a woman. If you were in a relationship and you have lost that relationship, you're going to find yourself in the month of November trying to look back and see where you have gone fault and why this has happened. As we look at the third week, the third week bring in the energy of the sun. I love the energy of the sun. And whenever the energy of the sun comes in, it is bringing new life and new energy. And the sun is here with the energy of the three of sword. And what is happening is that the three of sword, um, your heart was broken from that relationship that you were thinking about the week before. 
And what is happening now, um, the universe is saying that it was a cosmic um, situation that you were going through. It was a cosmic relationship because most relationships are based on cosmic lessons. I mean, reconnection, um, karmatic lessons. And this is what was happening to you. But um, this is wonderful because if you are looking for work in this week it's going to be um, a good week um, to open up to the energies and with this relationship it can be you have lost your work you have lost um, um, a, a, someone who was very important to you in your life and you're uh, you know the energy of the sun is coming and bringing back energy to you to say you know something you had broken heart but it was just a cos a cosmic lesson um and 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 karmatic lesson that you need to learn as we look at the fourth week the fourth week the energy of judgment comes out and the energy of judgment comes out and this is wonderful because it's always breakthroughs and information will be coming to you and it's about the six of pentacles and whenever the six of pentacles comes up that means it is people who are going to support you um gifts of money but it's not a lot it's always like gifts of things that you be getting like someone would say you know i have this bag would you like to have it or something like that and if you had somebody who was supporting you like your parents or so or um, a sister or a brother somebody that was supporting you it's going to come to an abrupt ending for some reason whatever reason that is it's going to come to an abrupt ending and for some people out there the other energy that i'm getting is that um um somehow um some financial um help that you were getting is going to come to an end and this is not um the uh, the energy that you would want to hear but when we look at it sometimes when these things come to an end then we will find ourselves and we'll find ourselves of the correct part as i look at the overall energies um i have the energy here from the orbs card we have the number 13 orbs card and it is saying archangel uriel michael and Archangel Metatron is here for the people who likes the angels. Um, for the rest of the people, what you can do in the month of November is call upon the rainbow ray and ask the rainbow ray to flow through you and surround you. The other energy I have here, um, it is um, the special friend it has a lot to do with friendship in this month for you aquarians and friendship is very important to you guys and it says special friends are there to help you and bring you strength through difficult times so always remember you know you're never alone and um uh, this month is going to teach you about friendship because it's a lot of clearing of cosmic and earthly energies so remember that there are always going to be people there who will support you as i go forward and i'm using wayne dyer he says the nine secrets uh, the treasure uh, treasure your destiny and this is just so wonderful because your ego you know sometimes we have situations in our life and it has to do with our egos your ego is all time is always so high and so awakened and sometimes we need to work um without our ego base sometimes we use our ego base and it uh, um bring us more problems and bring us more karmatic situation in our lives and this is a month that you shouldn't use your ego but you should try and balance as i've said before the next energy i have here is from your guiding angels and it says healer of abundancy and this is just so wonderful and it says never doubt that you may uh, may make um a difficult decision because you you know you're always uh, uh, making the right decision dis despite of whatever because if you make a bad decision it will always come back the situation involving a person 
or a situation or yourself or who is down to hurt with a gift for designing a demo. And this is just so wonderful because what's happening here is that whatever situation that was going on with your financial abundancy, it's going to clear up and it's going to be one of those times whenever um, all of that, um, um, what is no longer serving you is going to clear up because we're coming to the end of a karmatic year. The last energy I have for you as a hair sign, this is so wonderful that it came up and it's from the Ascendance Masters. And this energy is so wonderful because it's the energy of the hair element and the hair element um, truly is a magical cosmic qualities. Okay. This is just so fantastic because with the air elements, you get to work with the element kingdom of the masters. And this is, um, good for you hair people, especially you hair people. And it says, um, you know, help the fairy work with nature. I invoke the hair to carry angels singing around the world and bring in peace and hope. You know, peace and hope is the most beautiful thing. And that is what we need right now in our lives because we tend to, um, yeah, um, we tend to forget that, um, when things are going wrong in our lives and we're not flowing properly, we tend to forget these things. I want to say to each and every person out there, have a wonderful, wonderful month. Um, I'm hoping that all the situations that are going on in your life will clear up. And I'm saying thank you for being here for um, the year 2017 uh, reading. Please um, connect with us on the website. And uh, um, I will talk to you in the month of December. Namaste until next week. Yeah.